Now that we have a pretty good idea of how to create playlists, I want to also talk about highlights. Um, so basically where playlists come in to help you uh, learn and to, and to coach yourself and to really teach and improve your uh, game, highlights are really about taking you to that next level of, of basically showing off and, and showing your best plays. Um, there are all sorts of next levels that you could be aiming to play for. It could be NCAA, Division One, Two, II, or Three. It could be junior college, NAIA. Maybe you don't even want to play in college. That's totally fine too. Highlights are really there for you to celebrate the great moments of your, uh, of your volleyball career. Um, whatever it is, it's going to start with highlights. So creating highlights on Huddle, there are basically two steps to doing it. Now, the first step is to save those clips as, uh, to save those clips to your highlights. And then the second step is to create your highlight reel by compiling all of those clips together, adding music, spot shadows, a bunch of other fun stuff. Um, we'll cover all that whole process of creating highlights. Uh, the first step is that you have to save those clips to highlights. Uh, we actually just went over this, so I'm going to go over it again here. The first way is to do it from tags, and the second way is to do it from reports. Um, first off, creating those highlights from tags is super simple. Like I said, you'll go ahead and filter down using that bar on the right-hand side to show exactly what you want to find. Uh, for this, I went ahead and just filtered by number five under team and athletes, and then under offense, I selected kills. So this is going to show me all of my kills that I want to send to highlights. I'll again, go ahead and click on add to your clips. Um, click on that tab across the top of the screen there. And instead of clicking on save and playlist, since I want to send these to my highlights, I'm going to go ahead and click on send to highlights. That will go ahead and save those clips to your profile. Next, uh, we'll cover also how to create clips for highlights from reports. Um, once again, we already went over this as well, but as I mentioned earlier, you can click on any number that is blue and has an underline beneath it, and then it'll take you to your video player automatically. Uh, this makes it super, super efficient for you to find those awesome moments to send to your highlights. Uh, in this example, we filtered by athlete on the left-hand side and then clicked on the number of kills next to our name. That takes us to those moments where we can go ahead and click on that same send to highlights button that will allow us to create those highlights. Um, now that you have all of those clips created for your highlights, we're going to go ahead and talk about how you can create premium highlights. So creating a premium highlight reel allows you to take all of those individual clips that you just created and put them into one reel that allows you to add music, uh, spot shadows, and different things like that. To start off, you're going to go ahead and hover over your name uh, in the top right corner of your screen and then click on your highlights. Next, click on the gray button on the right hand side that says create highlight. Once you do that, this premium highlight reel editor will go ahead and pop open. And this is where you're gonna send your clips, or this is where you're gonna add your clips, add music and different things like that. To get started, you'll go ahead and click on the blue uh, button in the bottom right corner of the screen. And that will allow you to add content to this highlight reel. Um, from here, you can select uh, videos, music, slides, and photos. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just go down the line, starting off with videos. So once you click on videos, it's gonna show you all of those clips uh, that have been sent to highlights from our previous step of creating highlight reels. So any clips that you send are going to be separated by the schedule entry for easy navigation. Um, you'll go ahead and click on the first schedule entry that you'd like to include clips from. Uh, then you can check the box next to each clip that you would like included in your highlight reel. Um, once you have the ones you uh, want to include selected, go ahead and click on the blue button there at the bottom that says add two clips to your reel. Uh, and then those will be added to the bottom of your reel there. Um, then you can hit the back button uh, and then you can add more content to your reel. So next thing you can add is music. Um, you are not able to add your own music due to copyright reasons. However, um, we do have several options to choose from. You can click on the play button next to any of these and it'll give you a quick run through of what that sounds like. Once you find the one you like, go ahead and click on the checkbox next to it. And then once again, hit the blue button there to add that song to your reel. The next option you'll have to add is slides. Um, slides are super awesome, especially just like a title slide, uh, which is just very important. So you'll have a few different uh, slide layout options available. Go ahead and click the layout that you'd like. Um, you'll enter in your title and subtitle. Uh, for an example here, you would add your name, position, um, your year. Uh, once you have that all entered, go ahead and click on the blue button to add that slide to your reel. Um, once you uh, add all of that to your reel, you're going to see it all listed here at the bottom there. Um, we, you, 
you have the ability here to rearrange those clips and title slides uh, by just simply clicking and dragging and dropping those clips wherever you'd like. Um, if you want to delete any of these clips from this reel, you can go ahead and click on, uh, hover over the clip that you want to delete and you'll see a little trash can pop up. You'll have the ability to delete it then. Uh, of course, when you're rearranging these, we recommend that you do show your first plays first, or your best plays first, excuse me. Um, you also have the ability to change the theme of your highlight reel. Changing that theme will change the title slide and it'll change the spot shadow options that you have here. Um, we have multiple different themes that we've created. Uh, we've partnered with Gatorade to create a bunch. We'll also have different colors to, uh, to match the color that you'd like. Um, it'll automatically update to any new theme that you do add there. Um, to edit your clips even further, you can hover over the mouse. You can hover your mouse over a clip and then click on that pencil icon there. Uh, once you do that, you'll see that you have three different options to edit that clip even further. Uh, first, you can trim the clip, uh, add spot shadows, and uh, you can add text to your clip as well if you'd like. Uh, the first option there, clicking on the scissors, will allow you to trim up your uh, clip. So, uh, click on those scissors, and then a blue bar will appear at the bottom of your clip. Here you can drag either end of that blue bar in or out to either take time off at the beginning or at the end if you need to get rid of dead time. The next edit tool option is to add a spot shadow. Uh, spot shadows are a great way to stand out in your highlight reel. It uh, makes it really easy for fans and recruiters to watch you shine. So we really encourage you to use spot shadows here. Um, after you've clicked on that button, you'll see several options appear for a spot shadow, including different circles and arrows. Uh, this is where you can really get creative with your highlight reel. Once you've selected a style, you'll then be able to place where you'd like that spot shadow to appear in the clip. And you can also change the size or angle of the spot shadow if you'd like uh, by moving those arrows next to the spot shadow in or out. Um, to find even more spot, uh, spot shadow options, excuse me, like I mentioned, those spot shadows will change with your theme. So if you don't like the ones you're seeing, go ahead and change your theme up and then that'll also change the spot shadows you have. Uh, finally, the last edit tool option you have is your text tool. You can click on that AA icon there. Um, and after you've selected that icon, you'll be able to click to edit text. This is really a great opportunity for you just to make a call out uh, for an awesome moment that happened in the match. Maybe you broke a record here or something like that. Um, but you have the ability to add that text right there. Um, last but not least, uh, once you're ready to go, you can go ahead and add a title to your highlight in the top left corner of the screen. Uh, and then go ahead and click on publish in the upper right hand corner. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share some quick highlight tips that I have for y'all. And then I know Coach uh, also has a few that she wants to share here. Um, first off, you want to make sure you're keeping your highlight short. We recommend, especially if you're sending this highlight off to uh, a recruiter, to keep it really short. They get a ton of different highlights. Uh, keeping it about two minutes long is probably about as long as you want to go. Um, you also want to make yourself very easy to find. Uh, spotting the key player in a highlight should be super easy, and you shouldn't make a recruiter look for you. Uh, so that's why we really encourage using spot shadows that can really help yourself stand out. You also want to make sure that your video is organized. Um, chronological order is not always important. Instead, you should really grab the attention of the recruiter as early as possible. Uh, put your best plays first to really make sure that whoever's watching this um, is just captured. Uh, and then since you're likely uh, probably going to have more than one skill to show off, just make sure that you're keeping your highlight versatile and showing all of your different skills. We should also talk about how a highlight should be organized to grab attention and showcase those skills. Um, you know that your top plays should come first, but then what should you do after that? We recommend that you group your top three skills and then emphasize them uh, with transition slides. Uh, remember, you always want to start with your best, even in these different, different uh, skill areas. Uh, to keep that highlight short, each of these sections should only be about 30 to 45 seconds long, which may sound short, but you'd be surprised how much video you can get into that short amount of time. You'll want to begin with just an opening slide that includes your name, position, uh, your graduation year, um, the name of your club team. Uh, and if you've built a strong resume, you could even add a second slide with the list of your awards and your accomplishments. Uh, after your uh, opening slide, uh, you can go ahead and just hit them with your best shot. You'll want to find your top 10 plays. Uh, be sure to keep them up to date. Um, for instance, if you're a libero, you want to include your top 10 digs and passes to wow your recruiters right off the bat. Uh, but this is really going to be the most important part of your highlight video. Uh, most coaches know after watching a highlight video if you are the type of athlete that they're interested in. Uh, so make sure that you pick your best plays 
from the season, um, most recent season, always keep them updated. After you showcase your top 10 plays, um, you can go ahead and start showing your individual skills. Uh, you will need to identify your strengths and then put them in order, uh, starting off with your strongest area. And then last, but certainly not least, uh, be sure to include your coach's contact information. Uh, this is just super important. Uh, in addition to everything that you included on your title slide, adding your coach's contact name and email here is super important because your recruiters will want to find out more about you, uh, your work ethic, your attitude. Uh, that is all very important as well uh, when looking into getting recruited and just showing off. Before I dive into profile management, I'll go ahead and take a pause here. Coach Cat, if you have anything else you'd like to add. Um, yeah, I got a couple of things, um, Kevin. I thought those are all really good tips, especially about making sure that you showcase the skills that are really important for your position first. Um, sometimes, like I'll see a setter's video, and it'll have like three blocks or digs, and it's you know, hey, they want to see you set first. What's the most important thing? Um, and then also putting your top like maybe five, five to ten plays first, because one of the, half of the battle with um, kind of recruiting and videos is getting the coach to watch the entire video. And if you don't grab their attention right away with a couple really impressive and technically sound like plays relevant to your position, they will often watch for 20 seconds and then um, close it out. And they might miss some great content that's kind of buried in it later. So that's, I think, super, super important. Um, the other thing that I would pay really close attention to as you make your highlights is the uh, tempo of the clips. So uh, making sure that the coach can see enough of, you know, if you're an attacker, let's say making sure they can see your, you shuffling or transition or transitioning to attack, not just your attack, um, but not showing like the entire play. We don't need to see a lot of long rallies. They want to see, um, you know, if you're organizing it as a hitter and you're going attacking and then passing and then digging and then serving, they want to see, you know, 20 attacks in a minute or, or in a minute and a half or so. Um, not, you know, three attacks in a minute because there you've shown the, you know, the, the server bouncing the ball and the pass and it gets and it comes over to the other side. And now um, it's a long time into the clip before we actually see you hit. And that also helps with um, kind of making sure we know who we're looking at. Um, so for example, like Kevin was saying you guys can use those spot shadows the other way that you can make sure that it's really clear what they're looking at is if you organize it by skill so if you say attacking and you have a minute of attacking and then you they will know that you know they're going to see a minute of you hitting and then you don't even need to use the spot shadows because they're going to look at the hitter um, the same thing would be for you know blocking or defense just showing those clips pretty quickly so they can get a feel for how you um, execute each skill um, versus like jumping from a block to an attack to a dig. I think organizing it by type is really um, important for the coach to be able to evaluate, um, you know, what, how you do each skill. Um, and then my, my last piece of advice there is just, um, I wouldn't worry too much on whether, you know, if you're um, getting a, if you're looking at kills or blocks, for example, it doesn't matter too much whether you actually score that point. Um, you can make a really good blocking move or make, you know, hit a really good ball and get dug. Um, and that's still okay. Um, they want to see potential and they want to see good technique. So I would focus more on the quality of the rep versus uh, the outcome of the play um, when you're making your highlights. Um, so that's a couple of things I think you covered off on a lot of a lot of good things, but um, make sure you guys are kind of looking at it from the perspective of the coach and be, uh, being respectful of their time, um, putting your best stuff first. And then always, you, you can always, always send it to, um, to me and, and Kelsey, our recruiting coordinator to take a look before you make it final and, and we can give you some good feedback. That was awesome. I am going to steal a couple of those things. Uh, definitely listen to your coach, you know, so she's talking about, um, those are all awesome things that um, any highlight should have on there. Thanks, uh, Kevin. Of course. Uh, I do see 